Okay, so great news for Premiere Pro users on Windows. Today, Adobe has released an update that finally allows hardware accelerated encoding on Windows for H.264 and HEVC H.265 using NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. So if you're using an NVIDIA card, you want a GTX 1060 or higher or anything in the RTX line. What does that mean in English? It means the performance of Premiere Pro has gone through the roof especially when it comes to encoding, rendering, or exporting, take your pick, your video. So how can you tell if you're good? Well, let's get into it. So most likely your update has already downloaded if you check your Creative Desktop Cloud app. Depending if you already have automatic update set, you'll see that the update has already been installed or is ready to be installed. Once it is, you're good to go. Let's go into Premiere and we're gonna double check a couple of options. First, we'll go to File, then Project Settings, then General. And where it says video rendering and playback, make sure Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA is selected. Then go to Edit, then Preferences, then Media, and right here you'll see Enable Hardware Accelerated Encoding and Decoding requ requires restart. Before the update, it would only say Decoding. Also, it's so important, make sure you restart your PC afterwards. If you're like me, I leave my PC on days at a time. So while Premiere was updated for me, even when I tried to test it, it didn't work until I restarted. Yeah, I know, the moment. Now, what can you expect? Smoother performance on your timeline overall than what you're used to. But the main feature of this update is exporting or encoding our project. So let's render this project. We'll go to File, Export Media. Now, personally, I like to record in 1080p, but I like to export in 4K, so this will be a perfect example of our improvement. Now, keep in mind, even though this update supports ProRes RAW, we're focusing what probably 90% 90, 90 of us are using, and that's H.264, or maybe even H.265. H.265 is the future, so there's a good chance we'll be working on that pretty soon. So if you're like most YouTubers making videos with Premiere Pro, you're probably just going to go YouTube preset 1080p. But like I said, I like to do 4K to hold on to that extra detail after YouTube gets a hold of it. Pro tip, if we scroll down, we'll see hardware encoding. Before the update, this area was grayed out and you only had the choice for software encoding. But for the sake of this video, we're going to compare using software video. All right, so we have a six minute video and we're going to export from 1080p up to 4K. Let's see how long that takes. So off the bat, Premiere is guessing probably around 10 minutes to do the render. That's actually pretty good. If this was, uh, if we were doing 1080p, it would probably be six minutes. But keep in mind, I don't have any overclocking going on on my PC. I'm just using an Intel 5820 and a GTX uh, 1070. And this is the numbers that we're getting. Now, you ready for this? With hardware encoding, we're getting about a minute and a half of rendering time on this six minute video. This is a huge difference, especially from 1080p to 4K. I mean, with this update, you can expect your render times to be cut in half or more. I mean, this is, this is great. This is exciting, especially a lot of us. We spent so much money on upgrading our hardware to see some kind of improved performance to be only disappointed by the limitations of software. So this is actually really exciting. Okay guys, that is it. Go ahead, check out Premiere Pro, see if you got the update and enjoy the rendering process. Any questions or comments, leave them down below and also leave a like on this video if you liked it, of course, guys. Until next time, guys, learn, do, and share. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.